May the Matrix glitch in your favor. That's, of course, a play off of the movie Hunger Games, where may the odds be in your favor. But when we look at life and how do we put luck on our side, well, we are the wizards of our life for sure. We have abilities to create the type of life we want for the most part. But it's all about the way we go about it. Where do we put our attention? What kind of self-talk do we give ourselves in the morning time? What story are we telling ourselves? What story are we unfolding in our lives? How do we look at the past? How do we look at our childhood? How do we look at the way it affects us now as adults? All of these questions, right? Lots and lots of questions that we must grow through to gain spiritual maturity and therefore become the wizard that we can be. There was a study done on Americans, on adult Americans, and we spend 47% of our time not paying attention to what we're doing. 47%. That's almost half the time that we spend doing things that we don't pay attention. Now, one of, the, one of my favorite movies uh, that Tom Cruise uh, starred in was a movie about samurais, The Last Samurai. And you would watch their culture and how careful and detailed they were on each movement. They put full effort, 100% concentration into each one of their movements. If they were to go scoop water out of a, a bowl, they would take the ladle, they would use two hands, they would carefully bring it over without spilling a drop, and they would bring it into the cup. Yes, it's hard to do that kind of um, um, attention, right, and detail. It's hard to pay attention that, that concentrated. However, we can learn a lesson from that. We live in a high-paced world. We live in the technology realm. Everything's instant gratification, right? Someone didn't message you back in two seconds, so what's wrong? Are they dead? What's going on here? Um, we live in that type of culture. but. Again, we can pace it the way we want to pace it. One of uh, the greatest basketball players on the court right now is uh, nicknamed the Joker. He's a center for the Denver Nuggets. And last year they won the championship. He does not look like a basketball player. He doesn't even look in that good a shape. But man, does he command the floor. And he makes the basketball game play at his pace. He doesn't care what everybody else is doing. It's his pace. He sets the pace, and that's it. He plays at that pace. And there's nothing nobody can do about it. And that's the way I want you to look at your life. I want you to set the pace. You are the wizard. You are the creator. You are the magic maker. Set the pace. In the morning time, get up a little earlier, perhaps, but set the pace. Do the things that you need to do to set your vision and your focus for the day. That is one of the most important times. And the second most important time is right before bed. Set the pace for yourself in your mind as you go to sleep. Subconsciously program it in. This will be a very, very powerful tool for you. And it will pay dividends in, in waves, right? So you drop the pebble and it will wave out into your life. It will almost be on autopilot or effortlessly done. Guys, set the pace for yourself. Understand that when other characters are introduced into your life, other stories are introduced into your life, people come from everywhere, coworkers, family members, friendships, significant others, children, pets, on and on it goes of people setting the pace for you if you don't set your own pace. Take charge of your life, set your pace, and if other things are trying to throw off that pace, make sure that you take charge and say, this is my pace. You don't even have to say anything. It's in your action, really.
Become the wizard of your life. Create the magic. And you will never want to go at a different pace. All right, everybody, thank you for joining me.